to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I want to thank all of our organizational co-hosts, every volunteer, every person who put a minute of work into this, everybody tuning in at home. Thank you so much for celebrating the life and legacy of Ruth Bader Ginsburg with us. So I'm going to close this out. And a lot of times when I speak, I pace, and this is really hard not to grab a microphone and pace around. But I've been thinking a lot about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and what she brought to us. You know, she was a complicated person. She was not perfect because no, nobody is, but she gave us our work or her work for us. And I was thinking about the articles I've read about her and the speeches I've seen her give. And I noticed that every time she spoke, she talked about the shoulders of the people that she stands on or stood on. And she always took that time to place herself in a long line of fighters and champions. And I was thinking about her dying wish, which she told her daughter that she did not want to be uh, replaced until a new president was installed. And it got me thinking about when she was confirmed to the Supreme Court. She took the time in her introduction to say specifically, I would not be here with all of the people without the determined efforts of men and women who kept dreams of equal citizenship alive in days when few would listen. I stand on the shoulders of those brave people. And one of the brave people that she talked about was Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman, when she was on her deathbed, the advice that she had for the white and black women, the white and black feminists who were fighting for the right to vote, will stick together. And it is very true that we have not always stuck together. And that right now there are forces seeking to rip us apart and farther from each other. Which means that today and now, we place ourselves in the long line of champions and fighters. And now we, metaphorically, stand on the shoulders of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And if she called Harriet Tubman in during her Senate confirmation, we can call those words in now. We can stick together. So I want to leave you with this. One of my favorite Ruth Bader Ginsburg quotes is, real change, enduring change, happens one step at a time. So let's take that next step together and stick together. Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> 66866, RBG Legacy, all one word. 66866, RBG Legacy, all one word. Good night.